my calculus class, I would just say, what is the derivative of cosecant of x? And this is all the work that the students would do on the paper. And previously, just this last line is what would be graded in WebAssign. Now, rather than the last line, I'm actually telling them what the answer is. I get to see the student's thought process and see them working through the problem. Let's go to another type of problem right here. So now we are starting to get into implicit differentiation. You're talking about the tangent line at a point of a circle with center of zero, where it's perfect to lift the radius. Notice again, these are all open boxes. We're not doing drop down menus all the time. There is one drop down menu right here. Uh, we move on to the next question right here. We even have it for the integration. Uh, this is a wonderful, wonderful example that you could start in. Um, this would, for me, would be in a Calc 2 course because it is an integrations by parts um, problem. We don't cover integrations by parts in Calc 1. We wait till Calc 2 to do that. So this is the integral of the natural log of x to the n, and they're using the, the reduction formula. They say it's x ln uh, x to the n minus a n times the integral, so of course they did integration by parts. But this is the exact work, again, that I showed during class while lecturing. Now I can have the student showing on their homework. Yeah, while they do have the formula epsilon delta proof problems, they're also having problems where you're showing why and how formulas work. Again, these are problems that I've had to get away from in Calc 1 for over the last 10 years because I just my students didn't have the skill set and I didn't have the ability to see their work and grade their work at such a, a fine-tuned level.